Okay, here we go. Everyone asks me the same question. So, I'm gonna start doing this. Why am I moving from Chicago to the Philippines? So I, I live here in Chicago, I have a very good career, doing, doing well, and city life is one thing, and the Philippines is completely different. But the truth is, when I'm there, I'm happy. And that's where I want to be full time. So I've spent the last uh, five years, a little over, preparing to move to the Philippines. So my coworkers used to laugh at me at first and kind of, no, oh, you're crazy, you're not going to do that. But I would go there twice a year on vacation and send them pictures. And you know, we started building the house. They they knew I was, I was really doing it. So. Me and my wife, we watch a few different YouTube channels, vloggers, and some of them are kind of like the 90 Day Fiance situation in America, which is very amusing when you're married to someone that's from another country. And, um, it, it's constantly entertaining and, and funny, and we're always laughing and having a good time. And of course, she's always laughing at me when I'm there, because I have an accent and I'm trying to speak Messiah, and I'm horrible at it, but that's okay. So. Anyways, uh, one of the times I went over there on vacation, which is why I decided to move, went to the airport to leave and, and go home, what I called home. And I sat there at the airport thinking I didn't want to go back. Uh, I'm not actually happy here. I just go through the motions. We care about too many materialistic things and, and how much money we make. and sitting there thinking, you know, my fancy Lexus didn't didn't actually make me happy, my, my watches didn't make me happy, my 401k makes me feel comfortable or relaxed, I guess, but uh, it doesn't actually make you smile and look back and have all these positive memories. But when I'm there, in the Philippines, I can be walking around in flip-flops and shorts and a t-shirt and I'm smiling and having a good time every day because I don't care about all the, the crap. I mean, all the stuff that we buy, it really is true that we don't own the stuff, it ends up owning you. And it doesn't give you happiness, it just, it's what I call temporary happiness, or just feel good when you get it or you buy it and then you look at it and it's shiny and then you, and then you move on. So, I was at the airport and I was like, I don't want to go back. I'm not going back, I'm just not gonna go back. So I said, all right, well, how much money do I have in the bank and you know, how long can I be okay? So I did a rough math and thought, okay, I can live over here for seven to 10 years, roughly. I'm like, oh, I, I, can, I can just stay here and I'm, I'm in my early 30s. And of course, after about a minute, I realized then I will have to start over and I'll be broke when I'm, 40, you know, maybe 45, um, and then I'm coming back to the state. So that just sounded depressing, and that 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 wasn't an option because I've tasted happiness and I want to have it every day, and that's the life I want to live. So just buying it temporarily, that's that's not going to do it. So I said, okay, I have to go home, but how can I come up with a plan to? be happy every day for the rest of my life? How do I move and be here and set myself up? I have to sit down and I have to come up with this plan because I want to stay here. I want to be happy every day. So I sat there at the airport and started watching videos on, on people that lived over here and cost of living and building a home and just kept researching during the flight and then when I landed and then I sold one of my cars, sold the house, and started putting double into savings and said, what's actually important in life? So I'm married to a, a Filipina and she's got a Philippines passport, so it's where she's from. And she loves it, so her living there forever makes her happy as well. So anyways, I'm not gonna make this video too long because this isn't exciting or funny, but we spent the last couple years, you know, buying land, 
building on the land and our house is just about done and after the pandemic you know really not enjoying it over here and I'm really looking forward to moving there permanently so we want to show everyone how that's gonna go it should be an interesting adventure um, going from Chicago lifestyle and all this to you know walking around what most people think is the jungle and listening to chickens and, and goats and um, it's, it's a different lifestyle you walk around in between trails in between in between the houses and wearing flip-flops all day because they don't care about the dumb things that we do over here because they don't they really don't make us happy so anyways this is our introductory introduction to what I plan on doing and me and my wife are gonna keep packing and keep sending things and we're going to show everyone how it is to live over there and how it is to live over here married to each other and then the move process and shipping all of our stuff and everything else so we will start putting out more videos and showing you how fun our, our life is together and the house situation and how we're going to move and what we're going to do so currently me and my little filipina wife have already sent probably 20 30 percent of our stuff overseas so my dvd shelf and you know pants rack and shorts and t-shirts is is getting a, a little thinner because we've already shipped a lot but we wanted to send one or two boxes every month or every other month so then if anything got lost we wouldn't be losing everything we would just you know be a box or two so we've been in the process of, of doing that and, and for our remaining time while we're here it's gonna still be a lot of fun because marrying being married to a filipina over here is is very interesting and entertaining and good time which is why people watch 90 day fiance to begin with because <laughs> I'm constantly laughing whether she's calling me at work trying to use the microwave and not understanding why her her bread is not toasting and then I have to explain it to her and I won't laugh at her so I just laugh inside and laugh with her and then she's constantly laughing at me so 